motivational summaries introduce to you the summary of the book, The Million Dollar One Person Business. Section 1 of 6, The Ultra Lean Business Revolution. The main idea of this section is, as of 2010, 40% of all workers in the United States have chosen to forego traditional, quote, secure jobs in favor of working for themselves. Armed with the right knowledge, tools, and mindset, there is no limit on what this growing group can create for themselves. More and more people in every industrialized nation of the world are choosing to work for themselves rather than seek paid employment positions. Why? The internet is enabling individual entrepreneurs to connect with buyers. It has also opened up access to supply chains and provided capabilities and tools which were previously the sole domain of large corporations. There has been a wholesale shift in employee attitudes. More and more people prefer the idea of doing their own thing and being judged by the marketplace, rather than meeting the demands of their company's gatekeepers and bosses. More companies are prepared to rely on outside providers rather than doing everything in-house. As a result, an increasing number of employees are preferring to become entrepreneurs. They like the opportunity to generate a high income and at the same time live a balanced, interesting life on their own terms. Elaine Pofeld says, The capabilities available to entrepreneurs in one-person operations are vast. It has become much easier to quickly set up a business legal structure, operations, and distribution, says venture capitalist Eric Scott. If entrepreneurs want to form a business entity, they can do so in under an hour through a host of online legal services providers. To put up a website, they can turn to free and inexpensive platforms like WordPress, Squarespace, and Weebly. Find any design help they need on online platforms such as 99designs and locate any necessary writing or tech talent on a freelance marketplace, such as Upwork, Freelancer, or People Per Hour. Thanks to cloud-based storage, buying expensive servers, once a huge barrier to entry for startups, is no longer mandatory. On top of this, relatively low-cost digital advertising on social platforms like Facebook and search engines like Google makes it easy to reach a huge audience quickly. And once entrepreneurs find customers, it is easy to process payments from any corner of the world online through a fast-growing army of service providers, in some cases simply by clicking on an option that lets them accept ACH or credit card payments through their invoicing software. End quote. Becoming self-employed today offers three benefits. 1. Control over your time. 2. Enough money to enjoy your work. 3. The independence to act as you like. There are six categories of businesses which the majority of these successful, ultra-lean, one-person businesses have used. 1. E-commerce. 2. Manufacturing. 3. Information creation. 4 professional services, 5. personal services, 6. real estate. Notably, pretty much all successful ultra-lean companies use outsourcing, automation, and mobile technologies quite extensively to build, operate, and grow their businesses. Most of the people who build these businesses have lots of personal interests they want to dedicate time to as well, and want to avoid getting too tied down. Technology is a big help in achieving that. For example, Laszlo Nadler runs a five-year-old online store, Tools for Wisdom, from his home in New Jersey. He studied business management and technology at college and then landed a job as a project manager in the trading unit at a multinational bank. Tired of facing deadlines and tight schedules, he started a side business doing what he loved, designing and producing his own weekly and monthly planners. Traditional planners tend to focus on to-do lists but Nadler's planners instead zero in on the essential outcomes you want to generate each week to move towards your goals. Laszlo started making planners which aligned with his system and selling them online through his website. He worked the business as a side gig for two years until it hit a six-figure income, at which point he quit his job to work on the business full-time. Today, Tools for Wisdom is a $2 million a year business and growing. When you stop and analyze successful, ultra-lean businesses and the people who start them, you'll find the methodology most of them have followed is very similar. 1. Identify a business idea which suits your skills, experience, and interests. 2. Figure out how to launch it with as little startup money as possible. 3. 
Keep the business humming as you grow it, enjoy your life, and give back. To illustrate how this works, take the example of Jonathan Johnson. Aged 57, Jonathan was working in real estate finance until the global financial collapse. He launched Direct GovSource Inc. as his own ultra-lean enterprise. In 2016, Jonathan generated more than $2.8 million in turnover, selling equipment like ballistic vests and riot helmets to law enforcement agencies. He has also launched another website, which sells infection exposure control kits to medical and healthcare facilities. This is a summary of the book, The Million Dollar One Person Business, Section 2 of 6. What makes an ultra-lean business work? The main idea of this section is, the owners and operators of successful ultra-lean businesses think differently. This is usually the result of the fact they base their business around an idea or an insight they enjoy thinking about every day. They then take action to exploit their idea. Lots of small businesses never get past $5,000 to $25,000 in annual revenue, which is not enough to live on. Those that do break through and push on to the million dollar in annual revenue mark tend to share a few traits in common. Geekdom. Find an idea you are truly in love with. Ditch the do-it-yourself. Do what you do best and outsource everything else. Simplify. Your selling and your fulfillment systems. Build a community. Find customers who share your passion. See work differently. Revel in the fact you have choices, not orders from a boss. 1. Geekdom. Most million-dollar entrepreneurs are incredibly passionate about the idea at the heart of their enterprise. For whatever reason, they are almost genetically hardwired to be near-obsessive about that topic. Take notice of what you habitually think about in your spare time and what you enjoy doing. The odds are reasonably good that your passion can be turned into a million-dollar business if exploited intelligently. 2. Ditch the do-it-yourself in favor of getting help from experts and professionals. Most solo business owners start out trying to do everything themselves, and this limits their growth. To get to the $1 million in annual revenue mark, you have to be prepared to hire contractors, outsource most functions, and automate everything you can. Look to create an ultra-lean team. Remember, you're trying to build a sustainable and successful business rather than create your very own one-person sweatshop. Laszlo Nadler, owner of Tools for Wisdom, says, You need a team to accomplish your dream. If your dream does not have a team, it is not big enough. If you can outsource your supply chain, you have almost unlimited scaling available. End quote. 3. Simplify. The way you sell and your order fulfillment systems. Most million-dollar entrepreneurs experiment for quite some time before ultimately finding the best way to sell. They then zero in on the method that works best and focus on making that work exceptionally well. One way to do this is to start selling on Amazon, find something that sells, and then set up your own website to sell that product or products directly. 4. Build a community of potential customers who share your passion. This is easier than ever to achieve using social media platforms and digital tools. Facebook Audience Insights is a great tool for getting detailed demographic profiles of the buyers you need to target. Armed with those details, you can fine-tune all of your marketing appeal just to that market niche. Elaine Pofeld says, Nadler spends 80% of his time focusing on growth, which for his product means making sure every customer is happy enough to spread the word about tools for wisdom. It is a different approach from the one that many conventional businesses take. Handing off customer service to entry-level employees or a team of ill-trained call center workers. Customer service has become the number one driver of my day-to-day -day activities, Nadler says, because the reviews in the online marketplace drive new sales. When you have 110 reviews and someone wants to buy a product, guess which one they read first? The one star. End quote. 5. See work differently in that an ultra-lean business gives you the opportunity to build your own business, rather than taking a traditional company job. Working for yourself means you can fill your daily routine with things you love, rather than sitting around in boring and pointless meetings. Elaine Pofeld says, The point of the million-dollar, one-person business is that it gives you choices, whether to keep it small while earning a great income or continue growing it. End quote. Laszlo Nadler, owner of Tools for Wisdom, says, There are two types of people. One prefers security over success and is comfortable in an environment where they can predict the outcome. 
They are perfect for the employee career track. The other is the entrepreneur. They are open to exploring and are not worried as much about the outcome. They are looking forward to the journey." End quote. Elaine Pofeld says, Not long ago, I spoke with Eric Scott, a partner at Sci-Fi VC, a venture capital firm in San Francisco, founded by Max Levchin, co-founder of PayPal. Scott told me he and his colleagues have been asking themselves how much longer it will be until a one-person firm gets acquired for $1 billion. End quote. Elaine Pofeld also says, As of 2010, the United States Government Accountability Office says that 40% of U.S. workers have, quote, alternative work arrangements in their main jobs, meaning they are freelancers, temps, contractors, contract company workers, or part-timers. That is unprecedented, and it's a change that's happening in industrialized nations around the world. Many people worry that these workers will struggle without giant employers helping them run their work lives and keep their paychecks steady. That's a valid concern. But another equally important point is what this growing army of free agents can accomplish on their own. Armed with the right knowledge and mindset, could they create something even better for themselves than the traditional, quote, secure job? Will they be better off without powerful gatekeepers deciding the fate of their careers? End quote. This is a summary of the book, The Million Dollar One-Person Business, Section 3 of 6. What kind of ultra-lean business can you start? The main idea of this section is, there's no single pre-mapped route for finding your million-dollar idea. But the basic idea is, you're trying to identify where your passion meets market demand. To build a successful ultra-lean enterprise, there has to be a market for what you want to sell. To achieve a turnover of $1 million plus with your one-person business, the key principles to apply are Right-size your goals. Aim high, but not so big it immobilizes you. Clarify user value. What you can do to deliver value. Know your tolerance for risk. How much investment you can put in. Get clear on what matters. Why you want to start a business. Consider all possibilities. There's more ways to build a business than you might realize. 1. Right-size your goals. Remind yourself you're trying to build a sustainable self-employment situation and not start the next Facebook, Google, or Apple. Don't have massive goals that freeze you in your tracks. 2. Clarify user value. What you want to deliver to your future customers. By all means, do something you're passionate about, but obsess over delivering amazing customer value. 3. Understand how much investment you can risk, how much working capital you can put into your own business without losing the ability to think clearly. Today you can outsource anything and everything, so plan on using your capital astutely. 4. Get clear on what matters to you. Are you starting a business to make more money, to spend more time doing what you love, or both? Get clear what you want to do differently by working for yourself. 5. Consider all possibilities. There's lots of ways you can build an ultra-lean firm with no employees. 1. E-commerce. Lots of ultra-lean online stores are flourishing at present. The key to success is usually to build a reputation as a curator of a highly specialized product, and then create a community of aficionados who love what you do. In other words, build a brand which is very niche-oriented, and grow selling to that niche into a six-figure business. 2. Manufacturing. With 3D printing and the ready availability of contract manufacturing, it's now entirely feasible for one-person manufacturers to be competitive with big businesses. That's quite a change from the days where economies of scale reign supreme. The flexibility with which small businesses can scale up or down their production levels is very valuable. Elaine Pofeld says, The million-dollar non-employer manufacturers I have encountered have often combined their manufacturing operations with a direct-to-consumer e-commerce store. For instance, Scott Palladini hires a factory to make mattresses that can be compressed into small boxes and sold to customers who order them from a web store he set up inexpensively. End quote. 3. Information Creation Info marketers are part of a huge and growing industry. If you have unique expertise, you can package it and sell it through webcasts, videos, books, ebooks, seminars, podcasts, training programs, and more. These and other information based products can help you reach and serve thousands of customers worldwide. 4. Professional Services At first glance, scaling a service business might seem impossible. 
but you can break the $1 million turnover mark with a services firm if you use automation, outsourcing, and independent contractors in smart ways. You can also generate more revenue by providing high value-added products for which you charge higher prices. Always be aware of how you add value and make sure you capture part of that added value. 5. Personal Services As for professional services, personal services firms sell time which does not scale. To reach the $1 million turnover mark, you will probably need to add other products, like information packages, to the mix. You can also license your brand or franchise what you do to others who are interested in getting into your industry. 6. Real Estate This is perfect for building a high-revenue one-person business. Real estate investment can be done in your spare time, and banks are geared up for funding real estate purchases. You just have to build up a track record which will give lenders confidence, and then real estate becomes easier. There's also a great leverage factor involved here as well, because you can buy real estate for just a small deposit. The key to succeeding using any of these vehicles will be to identify where your passion meets market demand and target that sweet spot. Many ultra-lean business owners use crowdfunding sources like Kickstarter to raise the funds they need to start and then grow their businesses. This is also a great way to validate market demand and to get your future customers to fund your business for you. Crowdfunding combined with outsourcing can be a powerful combination for any fledgling enterprise. This is a summary of the book, The Million Dollar One Person Business, Section 4 of 6. How to Make It Happen The main idea of this section is, starting an ultra-lean business and then growing it to the million dollar revenue mark is normally a five-step process. 1. Fund it. 2. Experiment, iterate. 3. Amplify what works. 4. Build predictability. 5. Put systems in place. 1. Fund it. There are four funding routes which most ultra-lean businesses tend to follow. 1. Set up the business as a side hustle and fund everything yourself while working full-time for someone else. Run your one-person business in your spare time. 2. Keep your day job, live lean, and save until you have a financial cushion in place, and then launch. You can be doing market research and testing the waters with a sample product while you save. 3. Get others to invest in your ultra-lean business, angel investors, friends, family, etc. 4. Explore creative financing options, such as entering business plan competitions, using lines of credit you have established, crowdfunding, and so on. Elaine Pofeld says, you'll have a lot more creative energy to devote to your business if you are not scrounging to meet expenses in the short term. Having some cash on hand will also allow you to invest in your startup when opportunities present themselves and keep you from pulling the plug on your idea prematurely." End quote. Elaine Pofeld also says, Gallup research shows that only 38% of entrepreneurs rely solely on the income from a startup in its first year and 54% say another job is their primary way to earn a living. It is only when businesses are two to five years old that most owners rely on them for their primary income. Even then, only 51% get their primary income from the business and 44% still rely on another job." End quote. 2. Experiment, Iterate In an ideal world, the first product idea you come up with will sell like gangbusters. More likely, you will need to experiment in revising your product and pricing strategy over and over until you hit the sweet spot in the marketplace. Expect there to be a version 2.0, 3.0, and more before you get it right. Plan on spending money on these experiments. The number one rule here is to ask your target customer what they think and listen. Customers will provide invaluable feedback on every part of your business model, especially pricing and product features. You will need to keep evolving and improving your product presentation all the time. One idea which may seem counterintuitive at this stage is it may make sense for you to contract out production, fulfillment, and delivery at this stage rather than doing it yourself. If you outsource those functions, you will have more time and energy to focus on understanding customer feedback and developing your next generation products, services, and offerings. Using outsourcers enables you to tap into their economies of scale and it also means that you can then rapidly ramp up or scale back your production volumes in the future to meet market demand. Elaine Pofeld says, One reason you will need multiple sources of cash during your launch phase is that not everything you try in your business will work the first time. 
You may have to experiment and revise a few times to create a saleable product and develop a viable business. Many entrepreneurs and product-based businesses find they have to keep tweaking their product to get it right before it finally takes off. You need to bake time into the process to allow for multiple versions and some money to pay for your experiments. There might not just be a version 2.0, there could be a version 99.0." End quote. 3. Amplify what works Getting your first few sales can be intoxicating, especially if you've never run your own business before. Before you get too carried away, try and figure out exactly what you're doing right and then consider how you can enhance and amplify that. Some ideas on how to do that. Use social advertising tools like Facebook ads to draw more customers to your website or store. Get the word out that you provide great value or solve a big problem for customers. Look at establishing a presence in the major online retailers like Amazon.com. Partnering with a giant e-tailer through their vendor program can generate incredible momentum. You can also use them for your product fulfillment requirements. Use the social media platforms which your target customers like and run some promotions to bring in hordes of new customers. There are a wide variety of platforms available, but more than likely just one or two will pay off for you. Build a strong and constant presence for your brand on those key platforms and engage in dialogue with existing customers and prospects. Build relationships with key social media influencers in your field. This is often a matter of connecting with them one-on-one -on -one and communicating with them directly. Reach out to them like a real person rather than a faceless corporation, and they will take notice. Create some stunning visual social media and get the word out. Bring your product and your customers to life with pictures, video, YouTube demonstrations, online classes, and more. Create positive, inspiring messages and get them out there, influencing people for you. 4. Build Predictability Getting to the point where you can pay your bills and live on the income your business generates is an important milestone. To achieve this, you'll need steady and predictable cash flows generated by sales processes and funnels which keep sales happening all the time. It always comes down to cash flows. To take a steady income from your business, you need to establish strong cash flows. This is a matter of planning ahead intelligently. Always know what your cash flows will likely be in the next 6 to 12 months and keep that in mind when you make any decisions. Find ways to speed up payments, invoice promptly, accept credit cards or ACH payments. Pay your bills on time but not before they need to be paid. See if vendors will give you priority if you pay early. Reduce your need to carry inventory by using drop shippers, order fulfillment services, etc. Keep some cash reserves, even if that means growing your business more slowly. You should also be exploring how you can use digital marketing to drive more sales. The good thing about this type of marketing is it can be turned on and off at short notice. That will be incredibly helpful from a cash flow perspective. You will have to choose whether you're going to build your business through high volume sales or premium pricing. You can't do both simultaneously. Look at what high-ticket items you can add to boost your cash flow. If you can deliver much better services and results than your competitors, then you have the building blocks of a viable premium offering. Elaine Pofeld says, Mastering the financial side of your business may be a bit overwhelming if you are more of a creative, visionary type. The good news is you don't have to tackle all of it at once. When you are just starting out and have only a few customers, the financial side of things is pretty easy. Plus, there are many excellent, inexpensive, cloud-based software programs that can keep your finances organized. And if you really can't face any of it, it is easy to find a bookkeeper or an accountant to handle it for you by asking other business owners." End quote. 5. Put systems in place Scaling your business will be important over the long haul. To achieve that, you will need to put savvy systems in place. The more you think about this and plan for it when first starting out, the easier it will be to get your business model right and scale up your revenue streams later on. The kind of systems you will need will include Scalable products and services, which can be made without your hands-on involvement. A system for building media awareness and positive customer reviews. Automated systems which send customers emails inviting them to post reviews will be like gold for your growing business. Public awareness systems which offer risk-free trials and money-back guarantees. Sales systems and customer service processes run by competent people you trust. Public relations and digital marketing systems.
All of this sounds daunting, but lots of ultra-lean enterprises have already gone down this path. For example, Scott Palladini, aged 37, grew up in a family where his father ran a chain of mattress stores. Scott decided in 2014 to set up his own business, selling bed-in-a-boxes online. These are mattresses which are compressed into very small boxes and then shipped out to customers. Palladini came up with a shippable, high-quality, all-foam mattress covered with Cellient, a special fiber which converts body heat into infrared energy with health-promoting properties. Bear Mattress was launched as an online business run from Scott Palladini's loft in New Jersey and currently generates $2 million a year in sales, with just three employees. Megan Telpner started the Academy of Culinary Nutrition, culinarynutrition.com, after getting sick on a trip to Africa. This is an online cooking class, broadcast from her tiny kitchen in Toronto, which focuses on healthy recipes, which eliminate gluten and dairy. Telpner blogs every day, has a growing YouTube channel, and has managed to grow the business into a seven-figure turnover with just one full-time assistant. Paul Hedrick, aged 29, grew up in Texas and loves cowboy boots. He moved to New York City to work for McKinsey & Company and then a private equity firm, but dreamed of starting his own business. In 2014, he left the corporate world to start Tacovas, an e-commerce business which sells cowboy boots direct to customers. By selling at venues like concerts and online, Tacovas generated $1 million in sales its first year. Hedrick added higher-end boots, ostrich skin for $355, and a line of belts to his product range, and hit more than $2 million in gross revenue in 2016. Dalton Dale set up Big Dream Productions as a one-man business, running immersive theater experiences in New York City and elsewhere. Dalton started his company to run Halloween haunted house experiences, but has since branched out to run other immersive theater experiences in New York City and in London's West End. He relies on a small army of contractors to run his productions. Big Dream Productions is a million-dollar business and is in the process of raising $2.8 million to fund a year-round theater experience in the UK. Elaine Pofeld says, Running a million-dollar one-person business isn't about toiling for long hours. Unlike in a traditional job, where your pay may be closely tied to the hours you put in, your own business income stems from how smart and selective you are about how you use your time." End quote. Elaine Pofeld also says, As technology gets cheaper, the cost of starting a business keeps declining, so you may need less financing than you think. If you have done your homework and are serious about your business, putting money into your startup may be the smartest investment you ever make. End quote. This is a summary of the book, The Million Dollar One-Person Business, Section 5 of 6. Keep Getting Smarter. The main idea of this section is, most million-dollar entrepreneurs view their businesses as living laboratories, where they can keep learning how to scale their revenue and profits. They research ideas continually and talk with other entrepreneurs to find ways to solve the problems that crop up. Matt Friel, aged 32, started playing video games as a five-year-old when his family moved from Michigan to Arizona. While working part-time at video and electronics stores while he was still in college, Matt noticed electronics retailers would periodically sell video games at deep discounts. He started purchasing marked-down boxed video games at stores and then putting them for sale on eBay at higher prices as a side hustle. Sales grew from $15,000 the first year to $40,000 in his second year and $80,000 in his third. Matt Friel decided to take the business full-time, and in 2016 his business, Game Deal Daily, brought in $3.6 million in annual revenue. Elaine Pofeld says, so how did Friel go from making $15,000 a year to more than $3 million? A lot of his success had to do with paying close attention to whether his methods for running the business were working, and using that information to keep his business humming while protecting the lifestyle he wanted. By constantly seeking improvements to his business and by being willing to do his own research and make frequent changes, he turned each roadblock, wrong turn, and mistake into an opportunity to find a better way to do things and grow his revenue. End quote. To keep growing, 1. Turn your business into a living laboratory where you do research and try things others have used successfully. Ask lots of questions and observe closely how others have addressed issues. 
Building a million-dollar ultra-lean business is rarely a matter of copying and pasting someone else's strategy into your business plan. Figure out what you need to do to attract fresh business and make it happen. Mix things up and see what works for you. Treat your business as a lab and keep learning how to grow. Stay focused on where you add the most value. Find help you can trust. Outsource repetitive tasks so you can work smart and think strategically. Become an expert at A and B testing. Let your customers help you grow. Stay inspired. Always be on the lookout for fresh ideas. 2. Stay focused on what your customers value the most. When you work for a boss, long hours at the desk in your cubicle are important. When you work for yourself, it's more important to work smart and strategically. Figure out what you can eliminate, automate, delegate, or even procrastinate so you can dedicate more time and mental energy to growing out your micro-business. Squeeze the mundane tasks out of your schedule. 3. Find help you can trust. In terms of contractors, online platforms, other entrepreneurs, vendors, and so on. Websites like Upwork and Freelancer.com are perfect for finding new contractors you can try out on small engagements. If you find a good contractor, you can then send them more and more assignments in the future. Today, most industry supply chains are accessible online. 4. Become an expert at A and B testing, and use that religiously to get to understand what makes your customers tick. In its simplest form, A and B testing is where you create two versions of something and run them past your target audience to find which one performs best. A and B testing is invaluable because it measures what customers do, not what they say. Great tools for A and B testing include Splitly, Splitly.com, Optimizely, Optimizely.com, VWO, VWO.com, and Google Analytics. 5. Stay inspired. Keep reminding yourself you went into business with a higher purpose in mind, and you need to keep reconnecting to that personal aim. Many million-dollar entrepreneurs read business books voraciously. They network with others who are creating million-dollar businesses and ask for their advice. Keep the inspiration flowing. Elaine Pofeld says, There are many creative ways to squeeze mundane time wasters out of your business, and new solutions are coming out constantly. In a million-dollar, one-person business, there is no single way to do things. What works for other entrepreneurs may not work for you. So always prioritize researching tools that will help you be the most efficient. End quote. Deborah Cohen, home improvement business owner, says, You can say, I'd love to make gluten-free food, but if you're not determined and don't know how to cook, it's not the right business. People contact me all the time and say, I love your business idea. You work from home. I want to do that too. But if you're not a people person or a creative thinker, my business isn't going to work. It has to be something that resonates with you and matches your skill set. You have to be aware of what you are willing to invest personally and professionally. It really is a lot of work. You have to be willing to make the commitment and sacrifices that are necessary." End quote. Elaine Polfeld says, The trick to starting a million-dollar one-person business is identifying an idea you love that has the ability to generate high revenue and profits on an initial shoestring. End quote. Elaine Pofeld also says, Through my reporting, I have met some independent entrepreneurs whose stories persuaded me that maybe we don't have to wait for the system to recognize and value the independently employed. By building their one-person businesses and partnerships to $1 million in annual revenue or more, or in a few cases, very close, these workers generate enough income after taxes and expenses to insulate themselves from the hassles that many free agents face and to multiply the freedoms and rewards exponentially." End quote. This is a summary of the book, The Million Dollar One Person Business, Section 6 of 6. Realize and expand your vision. The main idea of this section is, the vision for an ultra-lean business might be to keep growing until it morphs into a job-creating company which dominates its niche. Or, you might want to keep a highly profitable business that is the best at what it does but has no employees. It's your choice. The beauty of owning and growing an ultra-lean business is you are completely free to choose the route you want to take. To make sure that it keeps working for you rather than against you, it's important to give some ongoing thought to what you're trying to achieve. 
Periodically pause and do three things. 1. Retake your entrepreneurial temperature. Do a reality check that you're still on track to realize your vision and if necessary plan some course corrections. Growing a one-person enterprise is hard work with busy days. Make sure you're working towards what you really want. Also, be sure you're making decisions about the best way to move forward which are aligned with your personal goals and values. Elaine Pofeld says, Running a business as a solo operation isn't an end in itself. It isn't a religion to which you have to pledge lifetime devotion. It's a way of supporting your vision for making a great living and living the way you want. For many solo entrepreneurs, there may come a point when, if demand grows enough, they need to commit to a different way of scaling. That may be through automation, hiring contractors, outsourcing, or putting people on payroll. What matters in the end is finding a way to run your business that makes you happy without mistreating anyone." End quote. 2. Stay true to your goals and allow them to evolve over time. The paradox is, the more successful your business becomes, the more people will be inclined to give you advice on what to do next. Create a vision and goals which work for you and then be selective about the advice you listen to. Everyone will encourage you to keep growing ad infinitum, but if you're already making a good living and you have money to reinvest in the business as is, there's nothing wrong with standing pat. 3. Know when to reinvest in growing your business and when not to. Sometimes it will make sense to put more money into your business so you can reach more customers, and other times it will not. If you can reinvest and create additional revenue streams that take you in the direction of your goals, that's great. Equally, if you've decided you'd rather run a small boutique business, perhaps you might put money into a new side project instead. Listen to your gut and align what you do with your values. There's no law of the universe that decrees you have to grow. Elaine Pofeld says, One of the most exciting parts of building a successful business is having the opportunity to take it as far as you want. End quote. Elaine Pofeld also says, Learning how to take a pass on interesting opportunities that may distract you from your vision and goals is the most critical skill you can develop if you want to grow revenue exponentially at an ultra-lean business. End quote. Catherine Krug, founder Better Back, says, People spend too much time trying to chase down seemingly exciting opportunities as opposed to the highest leverage thing they can do for their business. By only doing a couple of things really well, we've been able to do really well." End quote. Elaine Pofeld concludes, No doubt not all of the ventures mentioned will turn out the way the founders intended or expected. Some may close or fail. Some owners may sell. But many will continue to succeed, either as solo entrepreneurs or in businesses that expand to include a team of employees. And embracing this lifestyle is only going to get easier given the fast-growing community of people who are mastering the nuances of building high-revenue, ultra-lean businesses that allow them to live the way they want. The entrepreneurs who shared their stories have been generous in explaining exactly what has helped them to get there. Are you ready to join them? Then today is the first day to get moving and take the first steps." End quote. This has been a summary of the book, The Million Dollar One-Person Business make great money, work the way you like, have the life you want. Written by Elaine Pofeld.